What's up, guys? It's the Carp here, back again with another episode of the Liverpool Career Mode. And uh, I went ahead and advanced in the transfer market up to the first game of the season because I'm tired of dealing with transfers and stuff like that. I want to get into an actual game, but uh, I have kept all of the emails to let you guys know what's been happening. So Danny Ings has uh, left the club for $14 million. We get $11 million of that. Uh, I forget where he moved, but it uh, doesn't really matter too much. And then Alana is out for two months with a training injury, which is unfortunate. But we do have Wijnaldum to jump straight back into starting 11. It's going to be him and Goretzka in the center mid positions. Uh, and I sold Menule for, uh, well, actually, the Roma, for some reason, triggered his uh, his buyout clause. So he went for $25.5 million. Don't remember exactly how much we got for that. I accidentally deleted the message. But, uh, so yeah, we sold Menule. And then Sturge also left for $34 million to Tottenham. I got $29 million, million of it uh, to spend. So we are left with... I'm buying one player around 72 million. So pretty damn good. Uh, and because of that, I'm scouting a left back. Don't really know who I want to buy exactly. Uh, and if this doesn't bring any players in, then I'll just have a quick brainstorm about it um, and think of some players. It could be a good fit. Uh, but that's the starting 11 that I'm going to go with for the first game of the season. A couple of players making their uh, competitive. So let's just get straight into it. Away to Watford. Come on, Max. Don't start the season poorly. Let's go. We need this win. I'm nervous. This is my. This is the first like actual game I've simulated this FIFA, so I don't really know if it's like more accurate or more realistic or whatever. So it'll be interesting. But Roberto Firmino puts us one 0 up very early. In, well, I say very early. For 40 for 41 minutes into the game, it seemed early because there wasn't much action up until that, and it looks like it's going to stay one 0 Wow. No subs, one yellow card, and one goal. Probably a very boring game, but we come away with the win. 1-0 at Watford. Very good start of the season. I will take that. And uh, Firmino already opening his goal scoring. I'm going to go ahead and delete these emails now. All right. So, now that is done with, I'm going to do some training. Right, and I'm going to advance a couple of days. And then I am going to look for a left back. Now, Marcelo is the first left back that springs to mind. I don't want to do that because A, it's completely unrealistic, B, he's kind of old, and C, he plays for Real Madrid. I don't, I don't want to take a Real Madrid player, you know. If, if you guys have been watching for a while, you know I'm a Real Madrid fan. I don't, want to, I don't want to hinder them. That's not a real reason, but uh, mainly the first two things. And, like, especially just the fact that he's uh, pretty old. Don't really want a, uh, a left back that's going to start declining as soon as he comes into the club. Uh, so... Let's go and see if there's any players yet. There are. All right, so Marcus, Marcus Alonso of uh, Chelsea, Danny Rose, and Alexandro. Alexandro's 86 rated. Equally unrealistic, but he's 26 years old. He just went to Juventus, though. I'm not going to uh, sign him out there. We'll see. We'll see. It. Wait. No, he didn't just go to Juventus. I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. He's been there for uh, a season. Okay, so yeah, we are definitely going to go in for uh, Sandro. Just before any other players come in, I'm going to see if I can sign him. Um, and I'll be able to tell straight away because uh, because of the way this works now. So I'm going to skip all, this, all the cut scenes to try to get to this next game pretty quickly. But uh, that will be great if we can sign Alexandro. All right, so I'll see if I can swap a uh, player. I'm going to try to get rid of Moreno. Wow, he's not worth a lot. I could try getting rid of Miller. Miller's 31. Moreno's 25. Oh, Moreno can play elsewhere, though. He can play a couple positions. There's not a big uh, value difference here. That's good for Moreno. Moreno. Uh, they can consider swapping Sandra, but they're looking for a right back. Okay. I'll s I, I'm not getting rid of Nathaniel Klein. I am willing to get rid of Flanagan, though. Arnold's going to be our backup, so Flanagan definitely leave. He's probably even on the transfer list right now. Okay. Wow. So they, they're fine with swapping uh, Flanagan for Sandro. But they also need $97 million. Uh, It's a bit high. Just a bit. Wow, that, that is very, very high. So we'll, we'll add a sell-on clause to make it a little tastier, 25%. Again, like I mentioned uh, in the previous episodes, 
I'm probably going to do that for most transfers because most players that I bring in, I'm not planning on selling. So that's the most we can offer right there. I don't really want to offer that much, though. I'm going to go for $70 million. And we're going to make it exactly 70 so it doesn't bug me. Alright, so let's see what that is. He's probably going to reject that. But let's go ahead and submit it. Okay. Minimum they're willing to accept at 97. Okay. Well, we're just not going to be able to do that. Yeah, uh, in negotiations, that's just that's way too high for a left back, like of any quality. And Alexander, he's not he's not even the best left back in the world right now, um, even like you know in the game or in real life. So like I'm not gonna I'm not paying ninety seven million. Like I'm guessing a club record uh, fee for Liverpool. Don't know who else would have been more expensive than that. But yeah, that's uh, that's just way too high. <clears throat> if I could afford it, I'd think about it as well. But I can't afford it regardless. So I'm not really uh too concerned about it. So I'm going to go for this exact same lineup against uh, Crystal Palace. This one's at home. It should be very easy. Uh, if it's anything like real life Crystal Palace, you're going to get battered because Crystal Palace are shit right now. So uh, hopefully this will be an easy win. Hopefully we can score lots of goals as well. They lost to Huddersfield in the first game. So uh, they'll probably be uh, they're probably in bad form in game just as they are in real life. And Jimenez opens his scoring from center back uh, in the 24th minute. His first goal for the club and his second point of appearance. Not the player you'd expect to score, but uh, I'll take it. Wow, we we still okay. I was about to say like, gotta score at least two. They have a red card. Can we get a third? We cannot. Okay, so a two 0 win. Mane and Jimenez with the goals. Kind of disappointed actually. That's I, I like. I'm glad that uh, a couple of youth players got some minutes. Well, I say youth players, you know, Solaki and uh, Woodburn there, getting some minutes. But uh, two 0 win against Chris. Crystal Palace at home after they get a red card that early on. Really would have expe expected a uh, 3 or 4 0 win. But still a win regardless. And uh, let me go through training and then see if there's any other left backs that I can uh, try to bring in. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of left backs right now and I just can't for some reason. I, I couldn't last episode as well. That's why I. Uh, Scouted players. I don't really want to go on like foot header, foot was or anything, and like look through left backs either. Alonso could be a good shout, but I don't, he's, I'm gonna have to overpay for him. He's a left wing back naturally. Not really too interested. Um, because I want I want someone. I would say 27 years old or younger. Let's just think right now. There's definitely a very obvious left back that you guys are thinking of that I can't. For some reason, I just can't think of any left backs right now. Oh, man. There's Alaba. What rating is Alaba in this game? 85? 86? 86. And he's 25 years old. Okay, so let's see if we can get Alaba. Hopefully he'll be cheaper than, uh, <clears throat> than Alexandro. That would be an amazing signing. Again, just as unrealistic as the Marcelo deal, but uh, didn't mean to go into that. But uh, Alaba is actually younger as well, so that's uh, worth bringing him in. Like much, much more worth bringing him in than is Marcelo. All right, so let's approach to buy. And while I'm doing this, I'm just gonna. Think of other left backs that I can sign that would be good fits. You know, I can't do that. I can't. I can't think of other left backs while I'm uh, trying to do this. Hopefully, we'll be able to bring him in. Okay, so they are willing to take uh, Moreno plus 91 million though, which again is just way too much. So I'm gonna add the selling clause. We'll go 24 percent because I feel like EA might have like coded something into where if you offer 25% every time, they just stop accepting it. So we'll go 24%. And then we will propose a new fee of... I'll go 80. I can go 80. 80 I can do. That's probably the highest, but we'll see what they say to it. Submit offer. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And the value went up. Fantastic. Well... I can't afford that, so I guess we're not getting Alabama either. Okay. Let's 
You know what? I'm just gonna go and uh Ooh, Kurosawa. Kurosawa's left I can bring in. Maybe. Is he good enough? That's the only thing. Because he is 24 years old. He's only like 80 rated. I don't even have his rating up. I feel like he's only like 80 rated, so I don't want to bring him in. Um, let's just go to... Uh, yeah, I'm going to start with... Yeah, see, uh, there's some the left backs. We'll just keep that as is. I'm just going to go through... See what kind of left backs they've got to offer. Asamoah is a uh, left back in this game. Did not do that. It's interesting. Darmian. What? That must be a transfer. That that has to be a transfer. There's, I don't think he didn't move, did he? Oh my. I okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm just not gonna buy a left back yet. I don't feel like boring you guys with this. And I for some reason just cannot think of a single left back off the top of my head that's like. Really, really good, and also very young. I'll, I'll think of, I'll think about it next episode before the next episode. So next episode, because this is probably gonna be, uh, I may, I may play two games actually. I'll probably play this game and another game, and that'll be the end of the episode. And then off camera, I will uh, do a little bit of research, see if I can find myself a, a good fit that left back position. Mona's going fine right now, though. I mean, the whole team is really. Uh, I am going to swap most of them out for this cup game, though. We're going to make a cup lineup. And depending on when the next game is, I might even just take out the entire starting 11 and uh, replace them with younger players. <clears throat> Be nice if this could load uh, today. All right, there we go. So when is our next match? That is what I want to know. Oh my word, these menus. I guess while we're waiting for the menus, uh, make sure you leave a like on the video if you are enjoying it. If you're enjoying the career mode, or uh, even just, you know, for any reason that you feel like liking the video, just leave a like down there. I'll keep making these if there's more likes. I'm probably going to keep making them anyways. Career mode generally on this channel, okay, we've got plenty of time. Uh, career mode on this channel hasn't done nearly as good as any Ultimate Team videos, but the, the career mode videos have been doing pretty well, I'd say. Uh, so far, and I, I enjoy making them. They're, they're one of my favorite videos to make because I play career mode anyways. You know, well, I say play, I simulate most games, but like I would be doing that anyways. So uh, I definitely don't mind making these. Okay, so I want to rest Katini. I'm going to rest the key players uh, or the players that are low in fitness. So Jimenez has a tiny bit of fitness going. We'll put Lovren in. Matip, same thing. I'm going to put Klavan in. Um, Klein can stay in. Milner, I'm going to get out for Moreno. Donnarumma is going to stay in. Fabinho is going to go out for Henderson. And uh, when Naldum is going to go out for Sean. And that should do it. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and get Solanke in as well. And I don't know. We'll, we'll put our own. I'm going to play some of these young, younger players. So there we go. We've still got a couple starters in there. The very young starting 11, actually. Henderson, one of the oldest players. Lovren as well. Pretty much just those three. Clavin, Lovren, and uh, Henderson. Everyone else is. Fairly young. Sean, I actually have no idea how old he is. I would guess 26, just off the top of my head, not knowing anything like about it. I should really know approximately how old he is. He's a decent player, but uh, just can't think of it off the top of my head. Actually, though, we're at 14 minutes, and uh, I, was I said I was going to play two, two games. I'm probably just going to do the one. And then I will leave uh, everything else for next episode. So that's the lineup that I'm going to go into this game. The Carab Carabao Cup. I'm guessing this is the Capital One Cup. The, the English Cup names change all the time. I don't I don't get it. I know it is the Capital One Cup. Unless it's the FA Cup, which I don't think it is. Who knows? Let me know in the comments. I'm sure you guys know. All right, so Chan opens up the scoring already very early on, 14 minutes. Hopefully we can just batter Brighton here with a, uh, a younger team. Get those uh, ratings up. Solanke gets his first goal for the club. Very nice stuff. Coutinho's on. Salah makes it 3-0. We're just battering Brighton. Damn, they just can't handle it. And we're bringing on players like Jimenez and Coutinho. Oh, my. Just I, I kind of feel sorry for Brighton. 4-0. Just absolutely brutal. So a very convincing win. Three wins from three in this episode. Perfect start to the season so far. Hopefully we can continue it in the next episode. 
and uh, we were bringing a left back as well before the Arsenal game, um, if I can. But uh, you'll see that in the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time.